What's up everyone? So today we've got a new project on the Jeep. We're gonna go ahead and go inside this time and we're gonna cable manage some of the cables in there so that they're not all spaghettied. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cable management. Now I'll show you the system I have been using. I've been using this for the past few months, but I found something that'll work even better. So let's go ahead and take a look how I have things routed and what I have for what. Okay, so let's go over how I have things done. In the past, I've been using these. They're pretty cheap. I think they're like three or four dollars a pack. You get six of them. You can put two cables through them. They're not bad. However, there's one major flaw. They're big. They're really big actually. There's the size of the cable. They're big. Now the, what's nice about them is that you can unclip and clip things easily, but they're kind of ugly and big, but they keep the cables out. Before cables would just kind of be like running everywhere and you could tuck them in places to try to hold them and they didn't look so good. This is nicer, not just from looks point of view, but what this does is this uh, keeps everything out. And because I have a manual, I have to pay attention to where the wires are with the stick shift. Now things that I run, I run a dash cam, I run a GPS, I run a charger for my GoPro batteries, makes sense. Uh, I also charge a uh, Goal Zero, and actually I have a really cool thing where we're gonna mount this, I'll show you that in this video too. I charge this, and then I charge a phone. So you can see, there's a lot going on in here. Uh, phone is self-explanatory, I wanna keep that charge for communication if I have service where I'm going. GPS, so I know where we're at when we're exploring. Uh, this is just something kinda cute that I put up here. It's just there, be I don't know, because if I record something on accident, I don't know. The GoPro batteries, uh, I have my mic mount in here. This is also with the same double-sided sticky tape uh, by Gorilla. I think it's Gorilla glue that's that's done this it's like clear double side stick tape it's held on really well uh, where I'm at we get heat in excess of uh, 110 degrees regularly uh, and it's been there all summer long and it's not coming off so uh, I'm a believer in that stuff it's worked great you do have to let it cure for 24 hours though so this has worked okay however I found something better that we're gonna route cables not necessarily easier but it's gonna look better and it'll keep things more tucked in um, and with this system uh, we're gonna be able to mount these things uh, in a better place uh, so let's go over what I have and what we're gonna use so the first thing that we have are these cable clips they come in different various sizes and widths I got these small ones these ones I could probably run two cables through uh, if we work maybe three if we really force it three small cables uh, one really big cable whoops uh, but what they are is they're by eBoot. There's a bunch of different companies that make them. You can get some with zip ties with clippable ends, some with re reusable ends. I liked these ones. I think these liked the cleanest. I think they're $6. I'll put a link in the description below to them uh, on Amazon. That's where I got them. Uh, the other thing we're going to use uh, is the Velcro. Now, uh, this Velcro you can get at Home Depot, probably can get it online. Uh, if so, I'll link it below. Uh, the Velcro though, this one's up to 15 pounds and this is for this guy because this guy's a little bit heavy. Uh, and we're gonna stick that someplace so it's not all moving around. Now, the, uh, the Velcro we got, we want uh, extreme outdoor because of heat uh, so it stays stuck in here. Uh, the 15 pounds so it can hold the weight because that guy's a little heavy. So the Velcro we want is uh, extreme Velcro, we want outdoor. Uh, it holds up to 15 pounds. It comes in like, you get like two okay sized pieces of it. I think this is also about five bucks. Uh, this is gonna go on top of the Goal Zero torch thing because this thing's kind of heavy and I hate it sitting up here because it like slides around and clunks around. So we're gonna mount it somewhere where it can be charged and everything and grabbed easily. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna rip all this off and take all the cables off and everything. Uh, this one, this cable we're gonna leave partially done because I run it through here to make that cleaner. Uh, but uh, up here, we're gonna, we're gonna take that one off and replace it with those little clips because they'll be nicer. And I think the adhesive on these are, is actually nicer than these, even though these haven't come off at all. They're not really holding any weight. But what I don't like about these is they like slip. Um, and because they slip, they kind of do this whole like, you get a cable sticking out here like that thing, which I just don't like. Um, on the plus side though, if you have a cable you don't want to leave in here, these are good to remove. So that's nice about those. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's take all these off and see what we're playing with. <laughs>
Okay, so we got them all cleaned off, and now we're gonna have to run cables to things and start placing these, and then we'll get to the Velcro. These first. Okay, so we've got some of it run, but what we need to do is we need to get these two pieces uh, mounted. I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna take the two pieces and stick them together. Take this off and stick like that. So we need to cut this out. Okay, now we're gonna take this and stick it on the dash. It's already clean. Right about there is where I want it. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do it to this. And let's go ahead and get this uh, figured out here. I'm gonna put a piece here and then a piece here, and then I'll show you where we're gonna mount it. So this is the passenger side of my Jeep. This is the passenger side of the console right here. Um, you can tell because the four-wheel drive shifter is here. Uh, and right here is my USB hub. So what I'm thinking of doing with the torch is I'm gonna stick it right about there. Uh, two things, it'll make it easy so I can yank it off uh, and it sits in one area. But the other thing is, so we can keep it charged, is we can take it and plug this right into here, like that. So now that we take a, took a look at how I managed all the cables in here to keep it nice and clean, we're going to take a look at the tablet I use for um, overlanding. Uh, this is the GPS that I use. So first things first, what's it mounted to? It's mounted to a, Pro, a ProClips uh, USA, I believe, uh, window mount. Uh, it's really nice because it just pops in and right out. Uh, from there, it's a tau it's a Galaxy, it's a Samsung Galaxy Tab 3. Uh, it's old, and I bought it for $20. Um, it was brand new when I bought it, uh, but it's pretty old. So uh, I was pretty lucky to get it brand new in box, but that doesn't matter. You can pick them up online quite cheap. Uh, and they work quite well, so there's not a whole lot of storage. I don't keep a whole lot of things on here. But the one thing I do keep on here is Gaia apps. And you'll see it's a little slow. But not too bad and there we are there's the maps uh, i have gps turned off for obvious reasons uh but it zooms around just fine takes a little bit to load sometimes but when you're driving you never have the loading issue because you're you're going slow enough uh sometimes it takes a little bit for the uh for the gps signal to lock on and the gps signal uh, i've never had it take longer than 15 minutes honestly uh, 15 minutes sometimes is the longest but if you start driving it, it picks up pretty quick and that's exactly what i use i don't have an expensive system i don't want to put an expensive ipad though it would be nice if i had the money to do that um but they're they're you know pretty big and i don't want to take up all of my window space here but uh even the mini uh, i just don't i i can't afford like many people i'd rather afford fuel and food to go somewhere than to put a big expensive gps system in here um and gaia has been really reliable so that's that's really nice anyway guys that's my gps system that's what i use just a cheap tablet that has a gps uh, module in it and a uh and Gaia apps, which uh, it's free to download, but if you get a subscription, you get more maps, which the subscription is pretty cheap. Um, and then the cable management, it's like 10 bucks total to manage all the cables that you have inside your vehicle when you're off-roading, which is a lot. Off-roading or landing, you have a lot of cables in here. Um, but uh, if you like the video, please like it. And if you want more videos like this or any other videos I do, hit subscribe down below. And if you want to start a conversation about GPS units and cable management or which GPS system you use or solution that you use, what device you use, uh, hit comment below so we can talk about it. I'd, like, I'd be interested to see what you guys have. Maybe there's a better solution than what I'm using that's uh, not that much more expensive. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching the video. You guys have a good day. Mm -hmm.